So it just gives you a very, very light scale. And then as you come down, you try and keep it fairly even. If you like, switch over to your other pencil and carry on very, very light. And then the next one's going to be a little bit darker. And Setting up like this makes it very difficult to try and use it as a drawing tool, but it is lovely as a painting tool. What's interesting about this one is that it doesn't have a converter. This is a piston feed. So this piston will actually come all the way out, filling up the pen with ink. And you can see what a large capacity this pen has. I want to talk about different sorts of palettes that you can get. Now, I'm showing this one first because I think it's one of the best designs in terms of flexibility. So this one is the Herring, the Herring Compact, and this is the full pan version. Another highly recommended palette is this one. So this is a master's palette. It is a really versatile one because it's, it's small enough and light enough to carry with you, but it's also quite good at home. So for those who just want one palette, this one works very well. So if your sky doesn't go to plan, you can get most of it off pretty quickly and try again. And just knowing that can be really helpful. This time, I'll do it the other way around. And dampen the outside and work the right way up. And so that it's not too neat and tidy, um, there's also a little bit going on in the back here. And I'll often use the brush on its edge just to add some of that background detail too. It comes right up to this edge. 